back. This is David, and these are some random coffee stains I'm going to draw on and find uh, images in. So this right here kind of looks like a kind of looks like a human, uh, resembles a human in certain ways. Like like he's he's obviously uncomfortable based on the shape. Like like a human pretzel. I I'd just say he's you know he just says yes too much, and he ended up being a bow tie for someone much bigger, obviously like a giant, where they shrunk him down. I'm not really sure. Speaking of fashion, this looks kind of like a like a scarf of some kind. Like it's just a normal guy, but it's sort of like a safety scarf. The scarf kind of grabs your head and protects it in sort of like this brace mode, you know, just in case some gas pump monster comes. This one actually only has four pumps. He'll be... he'll be fine. So right here, this one actually looks kind of like Italy. Um, I think it, it may have been the inspiration for Italy, like, like not this coffee stain, obviously, that, you know, this was just, this coffee stain was just made the other day, so it wasn't, it wasn't the inspiration for the actual landscape. You know, the landscape was made at least a hundred years ago. I think this represents the inspiration for it. I think it's actually the monster Moop Flan, and he's, he's, a, he's fairly overweight, but I mean, but the boot part is actually his nose, and it sort of just jiggles and, and sniffs and smells and sneezes and whatnot. But, you know, but the eyepiece is the most interesting thing. It's just a thousand jewels, and of course the hair is fire. So over here, speaking of monsters, this actually looks like a ballerina. A ballerina monster, of course. I'm not saying all ballerinas are monsters, but I think a few of them could be. It's gonna got like a weird arm, and you know, the other one, uh, the other one will say it's hidden. And you know, it's got a nice strong neck, and of course the, of course the face is salad. I think this one's been dancing for a few too many years, so, you know, the salad sort of became compost. You know, it's covered in bugs, and it smells absolutely disgusting. You know, but it won't spin around forever. Eventually, it'll throw its face into the proper bin. But not to worry, there's a pharmacist riding a pickle. I think right here, it actually looks like a hand holding a like a piece of bread or something, or like a cracker. And I think on top, it's going to be like a like a rat. Not 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 to eat, but I, I think it's I think it's actually a, I think it's alive, but it's just sleeping. It's not just sleeping. I think it's actually pretending to sleep. I actually saw that in Spain, they were handing out crackers with sleeping rats on them. Actually, they were all pretending to sleep, but, but you thought they were sleeping, which is, you know, you know, and, the, and then it would wake up and scare all the tourists, you know, and then they would say, you know, we weren't sleeping at all, we were just pretending to sleep, and then everyone would drop their cracker and the rats would run all over the place, and that was, you know, that actually never happened at all. So that's everything in my head today. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Please support my Patreon, the link is right below. Lots of cool things you can have access to, like sketches and my other stream of consciousness drawing show, only available to patrons. If you want to send in your own coffee stained art for me to draw on in an episode, please send me a message on Instagram and we can set this up. If you're interested in purchasing any of the original coffee stained paper that I make myself from the episodes, uh, just message me on Instagram, and of course they'll be signed. Please subscribe, hit like, and leave a comment. I will respond. And on that note, have a good night, and I'll see you on Wednesday.